Hey guys, Tacoma Guy here. Subscribe, like, and share. In this video, we're going to talk about another lesson we learned about off roading. Is any worn out parts will break off. A um, couple out off. Obviously, one of the first things you learn is you need better tires. Stock tires are terrible off road. You need something, some kind of all season. But if you stick to the 265 or go a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit nicer, and the bigger you go, the easier it's going to be to get around. The more aggressive you go, the better it's going to go through. That's how it is, right? Um, but going to the dunes, one thing you're going to need is bigger tires. Stock tires you can't get anywhere, okay? The next lesson at the dunes is your shocks. Uh, regular factory shocks are terrible. You can't go over any bumps with those shocks. You're going to need some kind of better shocks. I started off with the uh, old man MU and that worked fine. Uh, they were actually really good for the money, good bang for the buck. So you don't need to spend a ton of money, but you do need a little bit of a lift and a little bit better shocks than just the factory shocks. You need bigger tires. After you do that, you're going to actually be able to start getting around the dunes pretty good. Then you're going to want to start showing off to your friends, maybe running your family around the dunes. You can't see it, but on this side, I have another transmission cooler. Because one of the lessons we learned is putting high load on your transmission is going to overheat the fluid and the stock transmission cooler cannot keep it cool enough there's a, tons of guys that are saying oh it's fine it's not fine if you're towing or off-roading you need a transmission cooler on the 4.0 that is a fact um, now with these softwares you can start to manage your you can check your transmission temps you don't want that transmission fluid getting over 200 degrees and it goes into safe mode at like 250 and mine went into safe mode with the stock cooler so it does not stay cool enough it's definitely overheat so I had an extra transmission cooler that problem is solved same thing is I also went upgraded my transmission fluid okay so went to a full synthetic fluid transmission cooler I've been running that same fluid now for four years with not one single problem okay uh, what else did we learn oh the next thing we learned well, just in general for off-roading, next thing we learned is when you're up north and in the woods and stuff, you can't see. You need lights. You need lights. Then we learned, because now you can tear around with your, you get better tires, you got better shocks. Now you fix your transmission. Now the transmission's holding up. Uh, now the, those cheap shocks you bought are going to overheat too. So I was giving everybody rides on my, in my truck, overheated the stock shocks so now put some Fox 2.5s and even these can overheat so you gotta do a lap or two let it cool down uh, just don't run these things non-stop you know 15 20 minutes on these 2.5s and probably give them a break let everything cool back down your engine oil your transmission your shocks you don't realize all this stuff overheats until you've overheated them and then once you overheat the fluid in your shocks and those cheap shocks are done, there's no way to rebuild them and put fresh fluid in them, so you have to replace them. I was going to upgrade them anyway, so now I don't have that problem. Worst case now, if I overheat the fluid, I can at least put new fluid in it. Next thing you're going to learn <laughs> is running old parts are going to break off on the dunes. Um, this broke off at the muffler. Um, I, it was already rusted. You can see it was pretty rusted. This has been on there for... Uh, I think about five years now. I, they built me this cat back for a couple hundred bucks. I didn't complain. I think the muffler is a hundred some bucks and a hundred some bucks to build me a pipe. So I was like, I'll take it. Like for 250 bucks, that's a cheap cat back. And it lasted me five years. It's a good value. But I did see it was starting to rust. I didn't know it was this weekend. And then this time at this trip at the dunes, it broke off. So again, when you're inspecting your stuff, um, look it over before you go off-roading. I mean, normal off-roading is not going to be that bad, but doing things like going to the dunes where you're driving fast or desert running, stuff's vibrating. Um, and if you notice something is starting to vibrate, you better get it tightened back down. Um, it will just break off. When you're off-roading, this stuff will happen. Um, especially when you start putting better shocks in, and then you start cranking up the valving like I've been doing and getting this thing where I can actually go fast. Uh, now I can tear around pretty good and a lot of the stock components probably aren't going to be able to keep up. So I'm going to have to start upgrading that kind of stuff. And then uh, just giving everything the once over real good. So that's what, we're gonna, that's what we learned this trip. 
We already learned about, yeah, transmission, shocks, lights, better suspension. I'm just making sure everything's good. I knew this was already weekend. Um, I figured it would probably fall off one of these trips, and it did. And that's it.